Kilroy. I'm an assistant professor of politics and geography at Coastal Carolina University. And this is my first year. I came here uh, in July of 2014. Um, I'm supporting the Intelligence and National Security Studies program. So I currently teach courses on intelligence analysis, intelligence operations, homeland security, and also my region of interest and security uh, focus has been on Latin America. So this semester I'm teaching a course on U.S.-Latin American relations as well. Well, I started out as a military intelligence officer, spent 23 years on active duty, um, served in a number of regions of the world, mostly in Europe and Latin America. And I also uh, was a, a foreign air officer for Latin America, which is kind of the equivalent of a State Department Foreign Service officer. So I served in the U.S. Embassy in Mexico City, for example, in the Defense Attaché Office. Uh, worked uh, with many different militaries in Latin America, and particularly uh, in El Salvador back during the Civil War, during that particular time frame. Uh, and then retired uh, in 2004 and uh, began teaching full-time at that point. I think, the, I think one of the strengths of a program that Coastal offers right now in intelligence and national security is to bring both uh, those from the academic community as well as those with a, with a practitioner background. Uh, I think our program is very fortunate to have uh, faculty members who have those experiences and have been involved in that to help the students understand the complexity of the issues that they face from a practitioner perspective but also from an academic and a theoretical perspective. And as a result, what I try to do in the classroom is give students experiential learning opportunities to uh, have an opportunity to, uh, in this case, maybe do simulations or exercises related to uh, real world types of scenarios that they would be facing if they were to work in a career field related to intelligence, national security, or even homeland security. Well, I, I really enjoy being back in an environment where I'm teaching with undergraduate students again. Um, they really have an enthusiasm and excitement about learning. Uh, they're very much interested in this career field, and so as a result, uh, I really want to work with them to give them opportunities to see what the intelligence community does, what the types of uh, job opportunities would be available to them. The other thing which makes this program very unique is that the skill sets that they learn, the courses that we teach, include uh, things that would benefit them in, in other career fields if they weren't to go into an intelligence career field. For example, uh, we teach things from a, an analytical perspective to include decision making, using uh, different methodologies to analyze and make decisions and evaluate uh, different scenarios that would be very practical in the business field or in other career fields as well. In pursuing a career related to the intelligence and security professions, it's really important to think about having opportunities to study abroad, uh, to be able to take advantage of internship opportunities, uh, whether in a local area or in Washington. Uh, and just be able to understand the complexities of working in different environments. Uh, having language proficiency, understanding culture, uh, understanding the operational environment that they're going to be involved in is very important. So we really want to see students think about that in their career choices as they look towards uh, pursuing this type of degree program or, or any opportunity in the liberal arts curriculum that we offer here at Coastal Carolina. I think what's really impressed upon me about the climate here at Coastal Carolina University is they, they really care about faculty. They really want faculty to be successful. Um, from the, the CTL programs to the new faculty uh, instruction that takes place. I've really been impressed by how everybody at Coastal Carolina is very supportive of uh, people that they bring to the university. And we felt very welcome here and very much a part of the department from, uh, from the department chair to the program director, from the dean. Uh, everyone has made us feel very welcome and part of this community.